Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give another problem on Newton option method. See the statement of the given problem. Apply Newton option method to find a positive real root of the equation e power x is equal to x plus 1. As usual, let us take the given equation as f of x. So it can be written as e power x minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. In Newton option method, immediately we have to find out f dash of x. So everybody knows that differentiation of e power x with respect to x is e power x minus derivative of 2x is 2. Derivative of constant is 0. You can take this is equation number 2. Now investigate the initial approximations for required root. For that purpose calculate the functioning values uh, at various values. Okay. Now f of 0 which is e power 0 minus 2 times of 0 minus 1. So e power 0 is 1 minus 0 minus 1. So it is 0. Unfortunately, we are observing that 0 satisfies the given equation. So 0 is a root of this equation. But we need to find out positive real root of the equation. 0 is not a positive root. Okay. So we have to calculate f of 1 now, which is e power 1 minus 2 times of 1 minus 1. In this f of x, whenever we have x, you should replace it by 1. So it is e power 1 minus 3. Okay, use the scientific calculator. So for e power 1, shift ln. So power 1 minus 3. It is negative minus 0 0.2817, which is negative. Now calculate f of 2. So you will get e square minus 2 to the 4 minus 1. So it is e square minus 5. C. So shift ln square minus 5. You will get positive. Okay. Plus 2.3890 which is positive. Anyway, according to the intermediate value theorem, one of the one of the root of the equation one must lies between one and two. One and two are known as initial approximations for required root. You can take this is A and this is B. Okay. Now the algorithm in Newton option method. The algorithm in Newton option method is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn by f dash of xn for n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. This is the algorithm in the Newton option method which is used to find out different approximations for required root. Okay. By putting n is equal to 0, you will get first approximation. By putting n is equal to 1, you will get second approximation and etc. We continue the process until to get two successive approximations are equal. Okay. C. Xn plus 1 is equal to Xn minus what is f of xn in f of x whenever we have x we should replace it by xn so you will get e power xn minus 2xn minus 1 by what is f dash of xn c f dash of x which is e power xn minus 2 now take the lcm e power xn minus 2 so multiply this one because here we have 1 1 into this is the LCM. So xn into e power xn minus 2xn minus e power xn minus of minus plus 2xn minus of minus plus 1. We are observing that minus 2xn and plus 2xn getting cancelled. So you will get xn into e power xn minus 
a power xn plus 1 over a power xn minus 2. So again in numerator in first two parts a power xn is the common term. So you should write a power xn whole into xn minus 1 is there plus 1 over a power xn minus 2. This is the xn plus 1 which is known as algorithm of Newton Raphson method for this problem. Take the equation number A. Yeah. Now in this algorithm we can replace n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. See. For first approximation, for first approximation, put n is equal to 0 in capital A. So, you will get x suffix 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1 means 1. So, which is given by e power x naught whole into x naught minus 1 plus 1 over e power x naught minus 2. Okay, what is x naught? So, let us start with uh, this is starting approximation. So, let us start uh, with x naught as a plus b by 2. You can take x naught as a otherwise b otherwise it is better to take a plus b by 2 which is 1 plus 2 by 2 you can take 1.5. So x1 is equal to e power 1.5 times of 1.5 minus 1 plus 1 over e power 1.5 minus 2. Directly we can evaluate this by using scientific calculator C. So, shift ln e power 1.5 bracket open 1.5 minus 1 bright glucose plus 1 power shift ln you will get e power something the power is 1.5 1.5 minus 2. So, which is 1.3059, 1.3059, okay. Now, calculate second approximation. So, in Newton Raphson method, it is not necessary to substitute this x1 in given equation, it is not necessary, okay. So, you will get x2 as e power x1, see this one, here we have x0 you will get x1 in the second approximation. So, x1 minus 1 plus 1 over e power x1 minus 2. Replace the values. What is e power x1? x1 is nothing but 1.3059 bracket open 1.3059 minus 1 plus 1 over e power 1.3059 minus 2. Okay, use the scientific calculator again. So, shift ln for 1.3059 bracket open 1.3059 minus 1 bracket close plus 1 division shift ln 1.3059 minus 2. So, it is 1.2590, it is 1.2590. See the next approximation, which is the third approximation. So, put n is equal to 2 in capital A. For second approximation, we have to substitute n is equal to 1 in capital A. This time you have to put n is equal to 2. So, you will get x3 is equal to e power, simply you will get x2 here. 
of x2 minus 1 plus 1 over e power x2 minus 2. Okay, substitute the values. Uh, what are the values? x2 is just a recent we got in the second approximation. e power 1.2590 of 1.2590 minus 1 plus 1 over e power 1.2590 minus 2. Okay. See in scientific calculator. So, shift ln power 1.2590 bracket open 1.2590 minus 1 close the bracket plus 1 division shift ln I think it is shift ln e power 1.2590 minus 2. Oh, I think it is wrong. Once again, I will check it. Because our root lies between 1 and 2 only. That's why. So, once again, I will check it. Shift ln 1.2590 bracket open. one minus 1 bracket loss plus 1 and write in the denominator shift ln which is 1.2590 minus 2 ok yeah you will get 1.2564 ok now take side reading fourth approximation so put n is equal to 3 in capital A you will get x4 as e power x4 times of x4 minus 1 sorry x3 by putting n is equal to 3 you will get e power x3 e power x3 minus 1 plus 1 over e power x3 minus 2 ok recently we got x3 value which is e power 1.2564 of 1.2564 minus 1 plus 1 over e power 1.2564 minus 2. Let us calculate in this one. So, take this symbol shift ln 1.2564 and uh, take right navigation and write in the bracket 1.2564 minus 1 close the bracket we have plus 1 in the numerator write the denominator shift ln 1.2564 minus 2 ok is equal to so you are getting 1.2564 we are observing that x3 and x4 is equal to x3 is equal to x4 is equal to 1.2564 exactly 4 decimal places are equal so require we can take required root of the given equation as 1.2564 do not forget to write approximately in the bracket because this is not exact root uh, this is an uh, estimated value for the required root ok. I will give another example in the next video thank you.